So my iPhone connects to my truck through a lightning cable, and that's how I play my music. But every once in a while, I'll have a friend get in my truck and they want to show me a song. But because they don't have an iPhone, they have to use the aux cable for those Androids that are still cool enough to have a headphone jack. The problem is, is my aux cable is shorting out. With the second gen Tacomas, it's something that happens all the time, and there's a pretty easy way to fix it. I'll show you guys how. So with the aux cable, when it cuts out, it cuts out on this left speaker. I'll show you guys what that sounds like. See, that'd be super annoying. But there's an easy way to fix it without having to buy a completely new connection. First thing you want to do is pull this instrument panel out. This is just where your heat controls are. That way you can get to where the aux cable input is at. And what you'll do is just reach behind here and you can push this entire unit out. And then it just unclips. There's a connection right there. Just undo that connection and it comes out. Once you remove the housing, we got to get the internal component out. So easiest way to do that is there's a little tab this guy just sitting on the back of here and if you just pry up on the edge right here you can pop that tab off pretty easy and then the back will just kind of slide out so usually it's just one of these connectors here that has came loose they don't have a very good connection and so you just have to find which one of those is loose and then you can resolder it so you can see on this very back one it's kind of lifted up and as i push down on the circuit board you can see it kind of lifts up so that's definitely the area where it's shorting out, but we're gonna resolder these just to make sure that it has that good connection and I don't have to pull this back out. This doesn't have to be a professional soldering job. All you have to do is just make sure you're not overlapping these different lines. And I only did three points. I just did these three on the outside because they looked like they were a little bit weaker. So I soldered those three points and I think that'll hold up just fine. Once everything's soldered back together, all that's left to do is just replace everything back where it was. Make sure before you plug everything back in, you test it and make sure that you got those connections soldered correctly. The last thing you wanna do is put it all back together just to find out that it still doesn't work and you have a bad connection. So plug that back into the connector, plug your aux cable in, test it out, and if it works, then you're golden. If you guys found this was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos. And any questions that you have, just leave them down in the comments below. We'll see you around. Yeah.